this is so boring but i have to do it let me start some music this is taking too much time let me attach some time so that i do it faster how oh, but i do half of it tomorrow divide and rule yeah now i think i can finish it this is how i make the boring things interesting welcome to the channel you are special today's topic it how to make the boring things interesting Hi, welcome to the channel. You are special. I am Shachi Seth. I am a writer, entrepreneur, life coach, and your best friend. I am going to share tips and tricks on how to make boring things interesting. How to make boring thing interesting? First, let me explain to you what psychology says about boring. According to psychology, boring or uninteresting can be case where one is not able to engage himself meaningfully in the task he is doing because he is not able to pay attention. or whatever he is doing he is not finding it meaningful it depends from the person to person for example some people find museum very boring while others are amazed at the thought of museum they get learning from them they learn new things they are always excited to visit one then there is another scenario where we are not interested in it but yet we do develop interest in it at some point of time for example if i tell you about myself I find technology very boring. Not that I'm not amazed by it; it is amazing. I'm still shocked at the mobile phones, from that box to it's a small, slim phone where I can call internationally without any delay. I can video call, amazing. Actually, when I saw the mobile phone for the first time, which was slimmer than a notebook, I could not believe it. You know, I was looking for the hidden cables or the CPU. So imagine, it's so amazing. I have to develop that interest. But if you ask me to do some research so that I can buy a new phone for myself, I'll go running down the hills. I'm so scared. But if you ask me to read a book and finish it in a day, I'm all in. Others might find it difficult and boring too. It's just a matter of choice. Whether we find it boring or uninteresting, we all have to do it at a point of time. Say a person always procrastinates or delays whenever he has to do history assignments. He finds it too boring. Whereas, if it was some science experiment, he would finish it in a jiffy, or vice versa. He might like science or dislike science and like history. It can be anything. But to everyone's dismay, completing high school is essential before you can actually select what you want to pursue. So you have to do the task which is boring. Similarly, if you are into any profession, say you are an accountant, you are very good in accounts and financing and balancing the sheets. but you find sorting filing at all very difficult very boring what will you do of course you can appoint people to do that but still it is boring at a point of time similarly if is a baker or a cook and she can bake amazing cakes but she hates to knead the dough she'll have to do it at a point of time now what we do we all have to do something that we do not like to do what will you do then this is where the video will come to your rescue You need this video, man. I will share few tips and tricks which will help you to make boring work more interesting. One, acceptance. Once you accept, you take the responsibility. Accept that you have to do the work. There is no way out. Once you know that you have to do it and there is not skipping, your brain will modify. And though it might take time, you will do the work efficiently. Second, find out why. Sometimes the solution lies in the question. Ask yourself why. If you come to know why you dislike doing a particular thing, or why that particular thing does not interest you, it can be anything. It can be past memories. It might be related to some emotional trauma. For example, if you do not like to studies, probably in the past you are scolded for getting poor grades. So that association of emotions of being scolded with the studies, you know, makes it boring. So forget the past. or accept that now i'll get good grades so you'll develop interest in it once you identify the reason your brain will automatically look for solutions to make it interesting third muscle memory this definitely works if you do not like doing something do it so many times repeatedly 
So once you start doing it repeatedly, your muscles will remember it and the work will be finished in autonomous. I'll share my personal example here. I hate to knead the dough. I shouldn't because I'm a decent cook, but I still hate it. So what I did was, whenever I got an opportunity to knead the dough, be it my place, friend's place, or I was a guest somewhere, I would try and volunteer to knead it. So what happened? My muscle memory developed. Now I finished the kneading in no time. I've developed interest in it because people appreciate because I do it so fast. Fourth, associate it with your loved ones. Elizabeth Gilbert in her book Eat, Pray and Love stated that she hated to say some verses and could not focus on them. The verses were very important for her schedule of meditation. She then associated those verses to her niece who was not well. Every time she said those verses, she dedicated to her niece. She started enjoying those verses. That's the impact of love. So if you're not interested in studies, associate it with someone you love. You can associate it with your mother or father. Like how proud mom would be if I get good praise in this subject. See the interest you develop because you're doing it for somebody else. A very life example, real life example I want to share it. Without which this will be incomplete. A girl who likes to sleep late in the morning, wakes up early when she becomes a mother. She wakes up to check whether her child is safe, whether she is fed enough. Similarly, when the baby grows up, she wakes up early to make sure that the child goes to school on time. This is the impact of love. It makes a boring task very interesting. Fifth, goals. I talk about goals all the time. Goals give meaning to your life, a reason to wake up in the morning. You're never too young or too old to have a goal. Once you have a clear defined goal, you will take strong and sincere actions to achieve that goal and leave no stone unturned. You will be happily doing the uninteresting or the boring task because it will take you to your goals. A very simple example would be when a person who is on a weight loss goal, he will take the task of nutrition exercise very sincerely even though he hates it. Sixth, deadlines. Set a deadline or time limit within which you will do that task. It will not make the task interesting but you will do that work in stipulated time and in food potential. Seven. Reward yourself. Whenever you are hesitant of doing something that you do not like it, attach it to a reward. For example, I had to read an article on a control topic, topic I really do not appreciate of, but I was supposed to read it. What I did was, I attached it to 20 minutes reading followed by 5 minutes reward. That reward was 5 minutes screen time where I could do anything, play games, scroll my social media or watch YouTube videos. It was fun. To get that 5 minute of fun, I finished 20 minutes of reading very quickly. 8. Research Sometimes when we learn fun facts about certain things, we develop interest in them. Just as I shared earlier about my disinterest towards technology, but when I heard about the chat GPT hype, I went on to search every corner of the internet to learn more about it. It was simply amazing. I couldn't believe what science has done. Similarly, if you are studying history and you find it boring, you can search about the topic. Who knows, you might discover something very fascinating and if you share with your friends, they'll be amazed too. They'll appreciate you and you will develop interest in history or any other topic that you are looking forward for. Ninth, challenge yourself. If you're a competitive person, and I'm sure that you are, because in the gist of self-improvement, you've reached so far in the video. Thank you so much for that. I promise this is going to be very beneficial to you. Nothing works better than a good challenge. Go hit the limit. Challenge yourself to outperform your own actions and see the interest seep through. Music. This is the best way to cut through the boredom. Play a soft music that does not interrupt you with the work. Keep the volume low and let the melody flow. Your reward centers in the brain will activate and you will be energized to do the work with ease. For example, very easy example. Playing your favorite music while cleaning will make the task interesting. Teamwork. Do the task in group. Sometimes loneliness makes the work very tedious. See if you get a group of friends with similar tasks to do. Join them. A little bit of fun and frolic and chatting with them will make the task interesting. In ancient times, women would finish their household chores and sit together and gossip while do their knitting and stitching. Change of environment. We have the cafe trend going on. It is amazing. I love it too where you can go and sit in a cafe for hours and do your work. 
you can go to one such place or you can pick a garden or any other place with natural beauty and get your work done there change of environment gets you in the groove and you finish your work quickly a friend of mine loves photography but finds the editing work associated with it very tedious so i advised her to pick a nature park and do the editing there she said it helps probably it might help you divide and rule if the task is too tedious and can be divided make a time table in which you can allot particular time in the day to do certain amount of work and divide it into different days for example if i have to finish my study syllabus for exams i'll divide my study schedule in such a way that i'll do one chapter each day similarly if it were the purse that i was segregating earlier i will divide one color every day and if there were five colors i'll finish the task in five days since i'll finish the task quickly i'll look forward to finish it and i'll enjoy it excel in the task appreciation is addictive and if we develop genuine interest if we are appreciated for a task so if the task is boring try to do it so well only once try to excel it so that the people not only get inspired but also appreciate and applaud for you trust me you will develop genuine interest in that task i have been through one of those experiences i am an average economics student so once when i submitted my assignment to the professor i might have worked extra hard that time so what happened was when the examiner checked my paper he filled the remark box with compliments he was appreciating my work so much that i developed genuine interest in economics now whenever i see an article related to economics i'm all in for it i'm started enjoying economics now you can use any of the tips or you can use jumble of the tips which of the following tips would you pick and how did they help you do share in the comment box below hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe me for more such videos remember we have a bell icon that notifies you every time i post a video i hope you enjoyed watching me goodbye god bless